agree with. Question number 11, Dr Jackie Blue. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Internal Affairs and asks what recent progress has the government made in combating the trade of objectionable images of children? The Honourable Chris Tremaine. Mr Speaker, the trading of objectionable images of children is an appalling crime which requires an international response. The Department of Internal Affairs Censorship Compliance Unit has been working with international agencies as part of Operation Laminar to target and apprehend people involved in distributing these images. As a result, yesterday, 55 of the worst offenders were caught worldwide for trading in images of child sexual abuse. Entry. Dr Jackie Blue. To the Minister, what was the role of the Department of Internal Affairs in the operation? The Hon. Chris Tremaine. Mr Speaker, DIA's Censorship Compliance Unit initiated the operation, which was then coordinated by Interpol. The DIA unit uncovered the abuse occurring on social network sites and provided evidence to the 20 countries involved. This small team of highly regarded investigators has proven integral to the worldwide effort in this area. They are to be highly commended for their dedication and commitment to this very difficult area of work. Dr Jackie Blue. To the Minister. How many children have been protected from harm as a result of this work? The Hon. Chris Tremaine. Mr Speaker, just from the results of this one operation, 12 children have been identified and removed from abusive environments. One of these children was in New Zealand. Many other children have also undoubtedly been protected from harm due to the apprehension of some of the world's worst offenders. Mr Speaker, I want to take this opportunity to thank the team at DIA for their success in this operation. Question number 12, Chris Farfoy. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question